Hello investors, my name is Dehan and welcome back to number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three potential altcoins to buy in the month of June. So right now, the market is down about 2.3% in the past 24 hours. If we're looking at, you know, some of the volume and trading patterns, things to be, you know, they seem to be trading at flat areas or a little bit down. So Bitcoin is down about 2%, currently trading at around that 700 billion market cap currently trading around that 38,000 area, which was a kind of like an area we needed to break through. Obviously with Bitcoin, we've been talking about that 42,000 area. That is a huge resistance area that we have not been able to break through for the past few weeks. We've been, you know, trying and trying for about a month or so now, and we still can't get through that area. Um, hopefully we'll see some momentum going potentially this weekend. Now, usually you guys see the crypto market sell, uh, tends to sell off during the, you know, Friday uh, night and then Saturday as well. And then we see a, you know, move on up on Sunday. So we'll see if that same pattern continues to happen this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Now, Ethereum is down about 3% almost in the past 24 hours, trading at a market cap of 272.8 billion, currently trading at around 2300 per coin. We have Binance down about 1%, Cardano about 2.9%, Doge 3% hitting that uh, support level that we've been talking about around that 30 cents level. So we definitely don't want Doge to go under that because it could continue to fall lower into the mid 20s and potentially the low 20s. Now, if you guys take a look at the rest of the market, most of the coins seem to be down about two to three percent, some about five percent or more, depending on, you know, what's going on. And then we have a few outliers where it's a little bit on the green side as well. So, guys, now let's get into these altcoins. But before we get into them, smash that like button for me. It helps the YouTube channel grow. It helps the YouTube algorithm. So smash that like button. Let's aim for 100 plus likes in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. As always, leave a comment below. What crypto are you buying right now? And if you want to sign up for Weeble, get your two free stocks valued up to $1,800. Links going to be in the description for that, guys. Now let's get into it. The first altcoin on our list is going to be Polygon. So Matic, obviously one of our favorite coins on this channel. Um, very green coin with a lot of growth potential that has been performing very well in the past few months. So this one is down about 1% today, pretty much flat, I guess you could say. Market cap right under $10 billion, currently at $9.3 billion. Uh, it's trading at $1.49 in the past week. This one is up about 9%. In the past month, it is down about 44% or so, but that is because we saw this massive bull run happen in the past year. So in the past year, Polygon has you know made some tremendous gains, so up over 7,168%. So let's just put that into the, you know theory for you. If you put in uh, about $1,000, it'll be worth around $71,000. Or realistically, if you put $100, it'd be worth around $7,100 right now. So it just, you know, $100 is not much to most of us, I guess you could say. Um, pretty much, you know, spare change right there, 100 bucks. So imagine if you threw 100 bucks into a few coins and then a couple of them took off like Polygon did. You would have made some massive gains on a coin like Polygon right here. So it was trading at what right around 0 0.0201 right there. So two cents per coin a year ago. And then we hit highs here of over two dollars and sixty-eight cents, you know, hitting near that three dollar area. Then obviously we saw the market pull back down with the whole crypto area. Um, you know, whole crypto space pulled back down as Bitcoin it continued to pull down lower. You know, the large cap coins pulled back down, and then so did the mid coin and mid cap and the low cap coins as well, as they follow the trend you know they follow each other whatever one uh, you know area does the rest of them follow that trend as well sometimes they fall behind a little bit but they usually you know even out in the end so this was a huge move down of over 50 or 60 percent or so and then we saw a recovery all the way up to about 220 so we went down to one dollar and nine cents all the way to 220 so 100 percent gain potential right there in a matter of about three days or so. So May 23rd and May 26th, we saw in three days, a hundred percent return on Polygon for anybody that bought in on that dip. And then we've been, you know, seeing it on a downtrend ever since, but it bounced off of that area. And now we seem to be building a support level around this 120, 130 cents area. Hopefully it continues to bounce off of that and continue to um, have that uptrend and hopefully, uh, you know, some new highs in the, by the end of the year and potentially the next few years. Now, obviously for Polygon in the next five to 10 years, we see a lot of potential for this one hitting, you know, maybe close to $10 per coin. That is our goal. 
or that is our prediction, I guess you could say, for a polygon. Uh, we think it has a lot more potential for growth in the future that could potentially, you know, make this uh, market cap right here be 50, 60, maybe even 70 billion dollars, which is not, you know, a far stretch. It still has so much room for growth. Now, obviously, for those of you that don't know, Polygon is an Ethereum token that powers the Polygon network, a scaling solution for Ethereum. So Polygon aims to provide faster and cheaper transactions on the Ethereum using layer two side chains, which are blockchains that run alongside the Ethereum main chain. Now users can deposit Ethereum tokens uh, to a Polygon smart contract, interact with the with them, you know, within Polygon, and then later withdraw them back to the Ethereum main chain. The Matic token is used to pay transaction fees and participate in a proof of stake consensus. So obviously, if you guys are fans of the channel, you guys definitely know about Polygon as we did, you know, talk about this coin when we were trading around 35 to 40 cents back in April. So if you would have bought in at around that 35 cents area, you would be up over about 300% or so, um, you know, in profit. So $1,000 would be worth around 3000 plus right now with polygon invested in april guys so that's our number one pick and now we get into the number two picks the number two pick is going to be binance coin bnb we haven't talked about this one in a while on the channel but it is one of the larger cap coins guys market cap for this one is around 53.7 billion volume in the past 24 hours at 1.4 billion and then the circulating supply at 153.4 million so you know in the past uh, 24 hours it is down about one percent in the past week pretty much trading flat so we've seen this bounce between you know 326 and 380 so it's been back bouncing back and forth if we look at the one month chart same pattern and as most of these coins have it's been consolidating since that may you know end of may area so about three or four weeks now we've been in a consolidation period bouncing back and forth which is a good sign obviously um you know that it is keeping that support and it can hopefully it'll continue to push on higher but you never know it could break on down lower depending on what bitcoin does as well now in the past year this coin is up over two thousand percent so on this one you know a thousand dollars right now would have been worth around twenty thousand dollars if you invested on um, binance a year ago it was worth under sixteen dollars in june and then we hit highs up here of over uh, almost seven hundred dollars in the beginning of may so since that 700 area we actually lost about 50 percent of those gains right now we're back to 350 right now but we did hit lows down here of 265 or 262 250 area right there so we did make about another 50 or 60 percent on the uptrend since then that dip obviously but it was a great dip buying opportunity for binance binance coin is a cryptocurrency used to pay fees on the binance cryptocurrency exchange Fees paid in Binance coin on the exchange receive a discount, obviously. So Binance, one of the larger cap coins. And like we said, once we see those large cap coins start to trend on higher, the mid cap and the low cap coins will follow trend. As you guys see right now, you know, Bitcoin is kind of uh, holding that rally and it's holding it down. It can't break through that 42,000 resistance right now. But when it does, I believe that all these altcoins are going to start to boom on higher as well because it will kind of lead the way for what is happening with the cryptocurrency at the moment. So... Binance coin, our second coin, and now we're getting into the third coin. So third coin, Theta, guys. So Theta has been a very, very popular coin on the channel in the you know recent weeks, and for a good reason, guys. So this one is up about eight and a half percent in the past twenty-four hours, trading at a market cap at nine point eight billion. So pretty much, you know, most of the coins we talk about on here are trading around five to ten billion market cap. So they still have a lot of potential for growth with the volume in the past twenty-four hours at four hundred fifty million. Now in the past week, you know, Theta is up twelve percent in the past month. Pretty much trading flat around 1%. And then on the one year chart, over 4,200%, as this coin was trading at around 20 cents, 22 cents about you know a year ago um, on this chart. So it hit it did hit highs here of about $16 or so mid April, which is pretty much the same time period where Bitcoin hit its all time highs of around 64,000. And then we've just been seeing a downtrend, you know, in the low um, under six area. So from that six area to $10 right now. We're up over a decent amount, probably close to about 60% or so, you know, as well on this one. So Theta has been on an uptrend as well. Now, you know, Theta, we've talked about in the past as well, how it has a lot of potential. So if you guys have missed out on our Theta video, you guys can check out the channel. We talk about a lot of these coins in depth, especially Polygon, one of our favorite coins, but Theta as well. We've definitely talked about Theta in the past as well because uh, it has a lot of uh, room for growth in the, in the future and a lot of potential, guys. So... Those are our three altcoins, guys. And now let's get into some of the things that are going on in the market. So first off, Bitcoin, like we said, trading it down right around 38,000. It's been bouncing back and forth around that area for a while now. 
in the past week it's up about three percent in the past month down 13 percent and then on the one year chart up 300 percent but ever since that crash that we saw we've been consolidating around this area and we've been talking about how we need to break through that 42,000 area and you know in order for this rally to continue on higher so that is obviously the goal in the next few weeks next few months for it to break through that 42,000 area because if we can do that we can definitely continue this rally into the end of 2021 and potentially you know start hitting some highs again once again like we did in the you know in the beginning of 2021 where we had major crypto rallies and everybody was getting into crypto now we see and you know die off a little bit but that is okay because uh long term bitcoin uh definitely going to hit a hundred thousand dollars per coin in my opinion obviously that's all opinion opinion based i'm not a financial advisor so this is all for educational purposes uh before you invest into any coins especially cryptocurrency uh speak to your financial advisor and do your own due diligence guys Next up, we have Doge. So Doge, like we said, is almost about to break under that 30 cents area that we've talked about for so long. That is our support area on Doge. And if it goes under 30 cents, we could see it continue lower. As you can see here in June 11th, it bounced off of that support level. Um, if you look at the one month chart, it's been trading at this level pretty much for the past month or so. Uh, one year chart up over 12,000%, but that is because of the whole SNL Elon Musk situation where the coin rallied for like a month or two and went all the way to highs of over 74 cents at one point. But now we're at that 30 cents of uh, support at level. If it breaks through that level, we're going down to about 25 cents. And then if it continues to go lower, we go to about 20 cents. And then, you know, it's no man land. It, we, it's like dropping knife, a dropping falling knife, guys. Who's going to catch it? It ain't going to be me. Is it going to be you? I don't know. But a lot of you guys still think that Doge is going to hit that $1 area. Um, who knows? It might, it might not. In my personal opinion, it's going to be very, very hard for Doge to reach $100 billion market cap or close to that area, which would bring it to that $1 range. Now, we do, you know, some some crazy people on here are saying it's going to reach $2, $2.50, $3. Um, it, it's extremely unlikely for Doge to do that in the near future, but you never know what's going to happen. I mean, volume, uh, 1.1 billion, market cap, almost 40 billion right there. Circulating supply, there's a lot of Doge, 130.1 billion Doge in the circulating supply, so... Who knows? It might do good in the future. You guys let me know what you guys think and what your opinion is as well. And then we have Ethereum. So Ethereum, one of our you know favorite coins on the channel, this and the Polygon is probably our favorite top two. So Ethereum is down about 3% in the past 24 hours uh, from highs of about 24.50 all the way down here to about uh, 23 or so. So market cap 272.4 billion right now. In the past week, this one is down about 5%. On the one month chart, down 28%. And then the one year chart, it is up over 900%. So obviously we are still trading at decent prices as you know Ethereum is doing well. Um, it, it's still performing very well and uh, three times better than Bitcoin in the past year as the coin is up over 900% still uh, as it was trading at 240 or so last year. Now, like we always keep saying, in April we had this huge rally of about 100% gains uh, in a matter of about three or four weeks. The coin was way overbought and we needed to cool off a little bit. We still saw this sell off with Bitcoin and now we've been consolidating around this between two and 26, 2700 area. So about a $700 fluctuation up and down. Ethereum needs to break to the 3000 area before we see an uptrend on higher. So obviously as Bitcoin continues to move, uh, hopefully Ethereum will as well. Even though we've seen in the recent few uh, days that Ethereum has been lagging behind Bitcoin, but when Bitcoin is down, Ethereum is down more, uh, which is actually not a good sign for us. Uh, Ethereum, you know, junkies that think that Ethereum will uh, continue to soar on higher in the future. So yeah, guys, um, this is pretty much what's going on in the market. The market is pretty much cooling off right now. We're not seeing any crazy momentum, any crazy movements right now, which is another sign that we might see you know, a little bit of a flatter area right now and some more consolidation going on throughout the summer. And then maybe towards the end of 2021, we might continue to see some rallying. But you guys can also see that, you know, these crypto videos are not getting as many views as they were in the past, uh, you know, few months. But that is okay. I think that the crypto rally will continue towards the end of the year. And we will be back, guys. The bulls will be back. The bears are winning right now, but the bulls will be back, guys. So you guys let me know in the comments below what do you guys think is going to happen in the crypto market in the next few months. As always, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I make a new video. If if you guys want to sign up for Weeble, there's going to be a link in the description. Get your two free stocks valued at up to $1,800 when you sign up today. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.